New York City is known for its diverse neighborhoods throughout the five boroughs. But they are not only different in their background, but also on their needs. And because major elections are approaching, New Yorkers are taking the time to voice their concerns. You can't treat equally certain communities that suffer at a disproportionate rate. East Harlem was chosen for the first mayoral debate between current mayor Michael Bloomberg and current city controller Bill Thompson. And residents took the opportunity to make sure their concerns were heard. Before you talk about the voters, listen to the voters. And then, once you listen to us, then you talk about what you heard from us. They should be in the audience, we should be on the stage. East Harlem, or El Barrio, is known for its mostly Puerto Rican and African American population, joined recently by the arrival of Mexicans and other Latinos. Even though the area is representative of many neighborhoods in New York, its residents claim they have unique issues that need to be addressed. Of the four uh, sanitation stations that are in, the, in New York City, in Manhattan, two are here. That correlates, also we have the two bus depots here. That correlates to the highest hospitalization of children with asthma in the United States, is in East Harlem. We're being squeezed out of our housing. I mean, housing is going to be a thing of the past. You know, our kids are not getting uh, the right food in these schools. We have um, a problem with obesity that's not being addressed, and it needs to be addressed. We have um, uh, a lack of just leadership here in East Harlem. With rallies like the one in East Harlem, New Yorkers hope whoever the next mayor be understands that even though neighborhoods do share common struggles, their demographics and priorities are not the same and there are communities that need to get individual attention.